This is a ramping up your English book review. If you've taken an interest in the theme of trains and railroads, you can grow that interest with Trains Magazine. This is for the serious rail fan or just anyone who loves trains. Each issue has a main theme, this one about western steam engines clearing the tracks of snow and ice. Since the featured events were for our photographers, there are incredible pictures in this special winter and holiday issue. This issue also features Union Station in Kansas City, a beautifully remodeled historic train station served by Amtrak's Southwest Chief during its nighttime run between Chicago and Los Angeles. Trains Magazine is also a good source of finding railroad museums closest to your home. If you want to know more, visit their website. I found my copy at a newsstand and I just couldn't resist buying it. This has been a Ramping Up Your English book review. I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Our goal is to help you elevate your level of English proficiency in a way that causes the least amount of stress. Our approach is to make English language learning interesting and fun by using a thematic approach. Our first theme is trains and railroads. This is segment two of episode 27. Throughout this series, we've addressed three of the four language modalities, listening, reading, and writing. The fourth modality is speaking, and that's essential to reaching higher levels of proficiency. When I was learning Spanish, I found great value in conversation groups. Now, you may be able to find English conservation groups that you can join in your area. In Southern Oregon, there are conservation groups, excuse me, conversation groups at the public library in Medford on, during the evenings. Some groups are available through Parks and Recreation Department or the community education programs from local colleges. If you can join one of these, you'll find your English skills growing in real conversation. There's something almost magical that happens when you take the risk of speaking in the safety of other English learners who are also taking those risks with the second language. If you know of any conversation groups in your area, you can spread the word by sharing on my website, letscreate.org. Just click the Contact Us tab to send me an email. I'll gladly share your information with Ramping Up Your English viewers. You can also start your own conversation groups, especially if you know other viewers of Ramping Up Your English. Get together and talk about trains, of course. So get some pictures of trains and railroads. I got most of these from old National Geographic issues. Now here we have, for example, a hot wheel. This is going to become the wheel of a train. This is uh, being the manufacturing of it. So you could probably find a lot of things to say about this when you're visiting with your groups. This is one of my favorite pictures, and it can get a lot of conversation going. This is about uh, an old Southern Pacific line near Coos Bay, Oregon. doesn't run anymore, but even if you don't know any of that, you can describe the train, the colors, maybe identify some of the cars you see on the train. There's also this. Like I said, these are just things that I've uh, cut out of magazines. Here you see some cargo uh, containers that we've talked about on some of the shows. Again, the color of the train, how many locomotives it has, that it's coming out of a tunnel. Those are all things that you're probably capable of talking about, having watched all these programs on Ramping Up Your English. Then we have this. This is a Canadian train, Canadian Pacific. You can talk about the snow, the trees, the rivers. All of these things are things that we've talked about on our show. Here we have a picture of what we call a meet in the jargon of the railroad uh, fans. That's when two trains come together, but thankfully on different tracks. You, you don't want them coming together on the same track, that's for sure. Now, we started our, uh, our series with a lot of things from this uh, uh, picture. In other words, steam engines. So you can talk about steam engines, how that's the way it used to be in the uh, world of, of railroading. Here we have just a really beautiful picture, but you can go from describing the rails into the landscape. So you definitely see some uh, mountain scenery here. You see the, the rails going off into the distance. You see the blue sky. 
All of these are just great conversation starters. Have you ever seen anything like this? How long do you think this rail lasts until it gets to that mountain? How do they get across that mountain? All of those are really good uh, uh, things to talk about. Now here we see these trains, these European trains, which uh, one of our crew uh, recognizes from France. So in your conversation group, you could talk about trains from different countries. You could talk about the different speeds that these trains go. You can, uh, if you haven't had experience with these, you could talk about your desire. Uh, what countries would you go to to go on the high-speed trains? What about high-speed trains in the United States? You could make predictions. Do you think these are going to become part of our landscape uh, of railroads here in the United States? You might even know of some of the plans to have high-speed trains. So lots of things that can get a conversation going. Speaking of conversations, uh, a conversation group can go for anywhere from, you know, a few minutes to half hour or an hour. You'll find the time goes pretty quickly. Speaking of time, I'm curious how long we've been talking about these trains and showing these pictures and uh, in regards to how much time I have left to do this. And so here we see, uh, again, this is several pictures of trains. Now, you don't have to get real fancy. You could get an old National Geographic magazine like I did. You could also find these just in general purpose magazines. You might be able to find the train magazine that I had uh, on the, um, the book review. So it's not too hard to get pictures of trains or if you just want pictures of anything else. A conversation group, the important thing is not the picture. It's just that that gets you into talking to each other about things. So they can be things that are going on right now. They can be things that you think are going to happen in the future. You can share your experiences. Uh, maybe you've uh, been near a railroad track when these uh, types of trains have gone by. So all of these, you know, with just a, a simple picture can get, you know, 20 minutes of talk out of, uh, out of a group. And you'll learn from what the other people are saying. So you'll bring to that group the English that you know. When you hear them describe things or talk about the, the topic you're talking about, you'll learn, oh, there's a different way to say that, or, oh, I've been wondering what the word is for that particular thing. So this is the last picture uh, that I have to share today, but like I said, the, it's not that hard to get these uh, pictures. You can always watch this program again and, and see which pictures we have here and just pause it on there. You could talk about, for like, like with this one, the uh, CSX is the railroad that exists now that at one time included the Chessy system, which I've talked about on an earlier program. You could talk about the different cars on this train. You could talk about what kind of uh, cargo this train uh, might be hauling. So there's many different ways that you can spring off of a picture like this and have a really good conversation with your group. Now remember, a conversation group can be as small as two people. So begin with the level that you're on and be willing to make mistakes. Now that's the most important thing. Be willing to make mistakes. Then let the content of the picture stretch your speaking ability. You'll have many aha moments and you'll find your conversation going in all directions. You'll also find yourself looking forward to these meetings. It's just really invigorating to get together with other people. These are times now, that these are times to avoid using your home language and to really dig in for the right way to speak in English. Participation in conversation groups is a great way to ramp up your English. And you'll be amazed at how quickly your English proficiency will grow. Of course, you can also talk about the great train trips we share on this program. We'll have another one of those right after this.